Team Jackson, what's happening? So, uh, recently on my last master class, the one about narcissistic abuse prevention strategies. And if you missed it, I'll put the registration link down in the caption for a little bit longer. But I got a question from a young lady that asked, D, why is it that I seem to attract narcissists? Now, y'all know my philosophy is you can't control what you attract, only what you entertain, because uh, everybody attracts everything. But what she was basically saying was, why is it that narcissists seem to get past the dating phase consistently with her. What is she doing? What can she stop doing, um, et cetera. So for her and anybody else that seems to have that truth, let me just give you one of three reasons why you might be, I won't necessarily say attracting narcissists, but why narcissists probably love you. The first one is you may be giving them too much too soon about your negative outlook on men. You know, I'm not saying like just in terms of your experiences with guys, but you know what you grew up seeing. Your uncle was trash. Your dad was trash. Your granddaddy was trash. Uh, what you grew up observing, you know, outwardly, whatever it is, if your general idea of men, for whatever reason on the dating phase is somewhat pessimistic, you come off palatable to a narcissist who says, you know what? So when I bring her toxicity, it's probably not going to be that much of a shocker. You know, not only is it not going to be that much of a shocker, I know she's not attracting a lot of good men because good men are not trying to jump over that wall of making a woman believe that good men even exist before he can even be a good man. So now he's looking like, well, shit, she's probably she's probably not that attractive to good guys either. So not only is her standard low, it has been low whenever she's been vulnerable. So now I want to get her vulnerable. I know other guys don't want her like that. Not no good man. So I'm probably the best that she can do. That's number one, that, you, that will make a narcissist love you, is that you're palatable and you probably have a higher level of tolerance for the BS that they're going to bring. The second one is, your appreciation for the little things looks too much like being impressed by the little things. And I'm talking about in the very beginning, because I am one of those that absolutely believes in applauding the fish for swimming or whatever the, the damn saying is. Um, especially whenever you've seen it being done consistently. If you're with a man for any amount of time and he's been taking out the trash consistently, he affirms you consistently, he makes time for you, prioritizes you, etc. I have no problem with you expressing that. But if you're on a first date and the man does something like pull out your chair, uh, pay for the dinner, acknowledge your hair, your dress looks nice, open the door for you, and you singing praises, you talking about how different he is than other men these days, and this is not the norm, and you thought chivalry was dead, etc., etc., you've crossed that line from mere appreciation to being impressed, which again says your standards in the, in the past must have been low. You must be used to being treated like trash. So now all this narcissist is thinking is, well, I just got to be a step better or give her flashes of better. And I'll probably be able to have a, a much longer lifespan than what I should in this woman's life. You know, when you're talking about being just appreciative, it's like wanting somebody, being attracted to somebody, but not being thirsty. It says, I've been here before. Um, yes, this is what I expect, but I can be pleasant enough. You don't have to go all the way to the extreme of being entitled and ungrateful or anything like that, belittling the man despite him doing all of these nice things for you. Just simply leave it at appreciation, not being impressed. All right, so thirdly, and this one's probably gonna rub some of y'all the wrong way, but it is what it is. All of that gloating and boasting about you not having a personal life, it does not make you come off as like a really sexy homebody who he know he can trust and ain't out running the streets in every club every weekend. If you go into the dating scene without a personal life, one, it says imbalance. And ain't no good man gonna be looking forward to a relationship that doesn't have any balance with a woman that's not gonna have anything going on outside of him. But two, it says that clearly, if you're making time for dating, you have time, you, you value personal experiences, you just don't see them as worth having unless there's a man involved. So what do I mean by a personal life? I mean, whether you want to go on trips with your friends, whether you want to go out for sushi with your mom, whether you want to take your damn self on on dates. They don't, personal life doesn't mean that somebody else has to be involved. I know a lot of people don't have friends and you know they're not that close to their family, but if you don't have anything else going on other than work and kids for yourself, but you are actively dating, you have time and availability for dating, he's going to look at that and peep like, oh, okay, cool. So she's not going to have a life outside of me. And one thing we all know about narcissists is they love to isolate. It makes you weaker. If you don't have a support system or the alternative to their presence in your life is straight misery, whatever it was before. And again, that's implied by, you know what? I want to have personal experiences, but I'm waiting for a man in order to enjoy these things with. It's almost like waiting for a man to bring you happiness. A narcissist is going to say, you know what? This is exactly who I want to be. I don't want to be with somebody that can do just fine without me. I don't, I don't want to be with somebody who don't even need another man to move on to once I treat her wrong because singleness wasn't all that bad. She found fulfillment first. A narcissist is looking for that woman who has nothing else going on outside of him. So, if you feel like you consistently attract narcissists, 
It may be one of those three reasons. But again, I went way more in depth for an entire hour of my last masterclass and registration does end soon. So hit the link in the caption to go to narcabusepreventioncom Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments too. I'll let y'all later. Peace.